Hey everyone, welcome back. I got a crazy one this time. This one's more like conspiracy related and I was flipping through Instagram and I saw something crazy. Apparently, uh, just name Maxwell Files were released on like December 14th uh, of last year, 2022. And then just a couple hours later, that building caught on fire that actually housed the evidence. Now, I'm sure there's other kinds of evidence that they had that wasn't all housed there, but as far as physical evidence and uh, maybe like notebooks or books or maybe even computers or whatever was was held right in here. And uh, this is the NYPD, uh, oh, like um, their evidence warehouse. And you, you cannot get in there unless you have a cop car. You know what I mean? Like... There is no getting in here. It's an island all secluded. It's on like a peninsula, basically. And like, there's, you want to talk about cameras, there's guaranteed 100% footage every single square inch. They have you. I'm not sure what that is. That's probably like for their construction or something. But yeah, the warehouse caught on fire. I mean, how, how, how could they do? How could they do it? So, I think I know how, because apparently it was on a shelf. There was a fire, it was on a shelf on the inside of the evidence. And now what I'm showing you here is just all the impound, all the crashed cars, all the burned cars you saw that way over there. Like, maybe they're holding this for, like, evidence or something like that, but, um, like, everything. Like a lot, a lot of evidence is held there, all the way back from the 1980s. And I think there could have been like a Navy SEAL team. I mean, I'm not saying it was a Navy SEALs, but I mean, actually, you know, um, whatever government uh, has their special forces that do things under radar. And this is just right next to two star forts. There's that one there, and then there's that obvious one right there. This is called Governor's Island. I'll do a whole video on that later. But then also, this location over here, um, this is where Epstein was housed. Not there, but right there. Yeah. That's where Epstein committed suicide. Just, you know, that's what we have to see on YouTube. But, uh... Yeah, like all the cameras went down. Like, no, there has never been reports of cameras going down in that building until he committed suicide. And then guards are falling asleep, you know? Like, that doesn't have, I don't know, does it? But it's supposed to be on suicide watch. There's supposed to be eyeballs on him at every single moment. Well, you have to look it up in particular, like in specific, what suicide watch means. But, they're supposed to be watched 100%. So we got the evidence to burn down. We got him that... I mean... When do conspiracy theories become conspiracy facts? That the deep state is in control of the world. If they can erase Tartaria, an entire civilization, off, the, off all maps, then what makes you think they can't get rid of some evidence right there in their own very town? Man... The world that we live in is just, it has just been taken over. So this is how I know that there's God out there. How maybe not everyone believes in Jesus, but this is how I know there's a God for good. It's because there's so much evil in the world. If there's this much evil, it's, <clears throat> it's a yin and a yang. Or yang, however anybody says it. For every positive, there's a negative. It's just like a battery. A battery, you know, creates electricity, creates, you know, whatever life, the spark. It's the same thing. So, for as much bad as there is out there, just know that there's just as much good, if not more. It's just that the powers that be don't want you to know how much good is out there. They're really holding us down. They're holding us down from our, our true potential. And I'm glad that we're able to think because someday they don't want us to do that either. All right, so that was all the bad stuff. Now let's get to the fun stuff. 
It's time for you to take a ride on the Tartarian Airlines. Buckle up. Hey everyone, this is Larry from Tartarian Airlines. I just want to say thank you for watching my videos and posting comments. Um, I, I kind of quit doing a bunch of like research on all these locations because it's not, you know, you can never really find the real information. I really like just the terrain flying around the whole area. And so um, that's, that's, that's what this channel is all about. It's, you know, you're in this chopper right now and you're flying around New York and um, we're going to places that we you know may never be able to go visit in real life. So I'm using this software to show you in one-to-one -one ratio exactly where these locations are at. Uh, I'm super interested in, in the surrounding because it's one thing to, like, let's say, for instance, um, uh, you know, like Monument Valley. I'm going to do a video here pretty soon about Monument Valley. And in the pictures, it looks pretty big, you know, like, it looks pretty cool. But you don't really get a grasp of how big things are unless you're actually, like, there. Uh, that software is as close as we can get without actually you know spending money to go there so I hope you uh, take all of the future trips with me um, but uh, yeah so um, maybe I'll, I'll do a lot more of these in-person commentaries like I'll actually talk about the subject as we're going along with the video instead of me interrupting your flight but I just want to say hello and I really appreciate you uh, also I'm about to do so much Tartarian mud flood apparel so that wherever we go we'll have little Tartarian stuff like all around like, where people were like yo what's Tartarian because I used to get it it's so far out there when I used to kind of be hesitant on the people I would tell about the mud flood because it's so crazy like what these buildings were there before America was an ancient civilization what so it's a little so, but now, uh, you kind of got to pick the way to say it. Like, my, my, the legal guardian that raised me, she's my aunt, and she's hardcore Catholic. I was raised Catholic. I'm uh, uh, confirmed, I have, you know, everything, been baptized, uh, went through all of that. And, um, you know, it's really hard for me to tell her some of these things that I've been finding out and how to break the ice sometimes how I've done it is hey you know aunt so and so did you know that there is this huge building in Fort Worth and it was called the spring you know building and I show her a picture and she's like whoa it's a mile long a mile long building that they say took 30 days to build and I, tell, I tell her that and, and that will get them and be like okay well hmm if they're really wanting to know but anyways another good way to spread the word is just by telling people so I'm working with some distributors to have some really comfortable and uh durable clothes so that we can go out hiking and all this stuff and it'll never fade like this was one that I got from a company I'm not going to use again but anyways it looks cool so um, anyways if you can you know, hey I will leave some links let's get this out I charge as cheap as possible I, I, make, I already have a full time job I do all these videos for fun and so I, I want y'all to have the same clothes you know the, to say as mud, mud flood all over it like Tartarian Airlines that, or even just research Tartaria but, uh, yeah, there'll be links and stuff around. There'll be stickers, all kinds of stuff. I want stuff that just can kind of just go everywhere. Mud flood, mud flood everywhere. So let's do it. Enjoy the flight. It might be over by now. <laughs> Anyways, peace.